Hey Virgo friends. I had uh, quite a few requests actually on my Instagram when I posted a photo of the lactation cookies that I make often. So I had a couple of requests for uh, a recipe and I just, my recipe is like loosely based off of lots of recipes that I've seen online and I've kind of just tweaked it a little bit myself. Um, so here's the video of me doing it. Um, I will have the ingredient list in the description. If you have any questions at all, let me know. Let's get to the video. So these are the ingredients that we're going to be using for our cookies today. Debittered brewer's yeast, flax seed powder. So if you have just the whole flax seed, just make sure to grind it up. Um, a little bit of soy milk, use any kind of plant milk you want. Semi-sweet chocolate chips, they just happen to be vegan. Peanut butter, brown sugar, uh, I have some uh, cinnamon baking powder. I'm using four spotty bananas, some oats, and then some flour. So started off with four bananas. Um, I've already peeled three, so I'm going to peel the last one in here. And then we will start mashing them. because This is going to be our egg replacer. So we're basically almost done mashing our bananas here. Um, generally when I make these, I use super brown bananas, like you almost think they're about to go bad because um, that's when they're at their sweetest, but I have pretty spotty bananas right now, so this is what we're using. So now we're adding in a half a cup of brown sugar. Um, again, if your bananas are much browner, um, you might not even have to add this much sugar, but because these are not super brown, I'm just adding a little bit more. We're going to turn preheat on. I'm going to do 400 and then let that go. So now I'm going to add two to three big tablespoons of peanut butter. We like lots of peanut butter. So I'm just incorporating the peanut butter into the sugar and banana mixture right now. So we are going to add in, this is a teaspoon so I'm going to add about five to six teaspoons of flaxseed powder um, and just make sure to use flaxseed powder or just ground up flaxseed because um, your body actually doesn't digest whole flaxseed, it's kind of like corn, so it just has to be ground up. So we'll do six. These are big, obviously, teaspoons. <laughs> So just make sure everything's well incorporated. So same uh, measuring spoon, teaspoon, we're going to do one teaspoon of baking powder. So now I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon. So here we have this, one of the stars of the show, the brewer's yeast. So we're going to do one teaspoon of the yeast. Don't go too heavy on this stuff because it is, even though it's debittered, it is still pretty bitter. So one teaspoon. And now this is the star of the show for my husband. We are going to do a half a cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Yeah, I'll take one. <laughs> and I'm just going to do two teaspoons of soy milk. Now we have all of our wet ingredients and a couple of the dry, but we're going to mix this all in before we start mixing in the oats and the flour. So these are not necessary, but it's just an added uh, couple ingredients that you want to add. So I'm going to do four teaspoons of hemp hearts. I'm going to do two of chia seeds just to get those omega-3 fatty acids and then we're going to do one of vanilla. All right and then the next star of the show is the oats so we're going to do we're going to start off with one cup and see how that goes we might actually do two. And our oven is ready. So we'll do two cups of oats. So 
So we're going to do a half a cup of flour just to thicken it up a little bit. So once everything is super well incorporated, and please make sure you have mixed it very well because you got to make sure that brewer's yeast is everywhere and not in one giant clump, um, then we can start forming. Uh, you don't have, I mean, you do whatever shape you want. I, you can roll them into balls. I just literally do those. This is how I make them. One thing to note as well is if you want to add butter to this, go ahead, add a little bit of uh, melted butter. You can do maybe a couple teaspoons, um, but I'm just trying to make these a little bit healthier. And the last thing I forgot to mention too is I did lay down some parchment paper um, just so that they don't stick. But if you have like a silicone mat, which I do underneath, it's just mine is kind of dirty. So I just threw on a fresh sheet of parchment. So we're going to put these in the oven now, uh, 400 degrees for about 15 to 17 minutes, and then check out how they are doing. Just going to pop these in the middle rack. See you later. So I actually ended up leaving them in for about 20-ish minutes. Here they are. Let them cool, and then they will be ready to eat.